Hello, good evening, dear wonderful friends, and welcome back here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Tonight, I would simply love to share how I cook our simple supper. So please come join with me here in my little kitchen as I'm going to show you very, very easy way of cooking. So what are the very basic ingredients uh, that we have? Okay, now for our sautéing ingredient, I am going to use 100% extra virgin olive oil and this is organic. So the organic one or even the olive oil, actually this is olive oil. So I'm using approximately four tablespoons of olive oil. Now, as you can see, it's more yellowish and darker in color. So that's how olive oils are used to have that kind of color. But of course, you can always try to use a sure sauteing ingredient, any type of oil. Could be it canola, sunflower, uh, coconut oil. So whatever you're uh, familiar and more comfortable using any um, of that ingredient okay so our meat preference I am using chicken livers so there you go you can use um, chicken breast or whatever meat preference you're going to have okay I have here one tablespoon of cornstarch and I'm going to dilute that with one half one half cup of water so we're going to make slurry slurry is a combination of water and cornstarch because we're going to achieve a little bit a slightly thickened type of sauce into our dish okay so that's our um, cornstarch now to the point that you don't have cornstarch well you can go ahead and use flour but for the sauce and gravy, I love to use cornstarch actually. So for a savoring enhancer, I'll be adding uh, this kind of liquid seasoning. This is flavorful already. If you don't have this, you can of course use toyo to add flavor of course and also the color of your dish. Okay, I'll be adding black pepper and a little bit of chicken boiling powder. You can use uh, chicken broth, uh, chicken broth powder or cubes or any vegetable seasoning um, you have uh, to savor your dish. I am going to add some garlic spread. Now this garlic spread, I got this from Costco and this is a very good savoring enhancer. Um, it's a combination of different spices well to the point you don't have that one no need because you're going to have garlic so I use five cloves of fresh garlic I just chopped it coarsely so big chops and also I have here my half um, a medium slice uh, sliced of onions uh, towards the end I will be garnishing this scallions or sibuyas down or green onions I have here some hot uh, jalapeno pepper so I just try to cut it into half because it's so spicy and I sometimes spice makes me uh, my stomach is aggravated like it will uh, give me um, palpitation in my heart <laughs> okay our veggies are very very easy whatever vegetable you have you know whatever makes you happy go ahead I have here my florets of broccoli and slices of celery sweet red pepper you can use yellow pepper or green peppers and also I have here cauliflower well you can add up some zucchini of your choice some green beans but these are the only available uh, veggies I have okay now let's start sauteing are I like to saute my onions first so sauteing doesn't really take that long of course friends you can always adjust uh, the usage of your oil you can use uh, you can lesser it but for me I don't really feel guilty if I'm going to add a little bit more of uh, oil because I'm using olive oil and I love olive oil but to some of you, olive oil can be very, very pricey, and which I agree with that. 
So there you go. But if I run out of olive oil, I, I can use the oil that uh, whatever is intended for cooking. So sauteing our onions maybe for uh, 30 seconds. Then I will just be adding this um, jalapeno hot peppers and the garlic. I hope you have a fine day today, my dear wonderful friends. So right now I'm listening to uh, my Filipino Christmas songs and I feel very relaxed here and this this kind of dish it will serve our supper and also the leftovers will be for my husband's work tomorrow for his lunch okay there you go so uh i will be adding the chicken livers make sure you wash the chicken livers so this serves as your protein very delicious ones but to some people they don't really like to eat uh, chicken livers or the innards of the chicken you know you can use chicken breast okay so we will uh, let our chicken I mean livers cook and I am going to add black pepper of course uh, you can use white pepper if you want okay there you go I'll not be adding too much black pepper this time because we have the the green hot chilies okay i am going to add this garlic uh, spread it's a garlic powder i love this one friends no need to have this if you don't have in your kitchen you just use whatever within your reach and you know make use or utilize some of your ingredients <laughs> okay i am going to add this liquid seasoning so adding seasoning depends upon your taste buds. Because I added that seasoning, uh, a little bit of um, chicken bullion powder that I am going to use, maybe just half a teaspoon. So once again, adding savoring enhancer, it depends upon your taste buds. Now the chicken livers, they're not very, very, uh, it, it doesn't really take long in the process of cooking. So might as well just cook it halfway through because we will still add our veggies and uh, there's enough time this one to be cooked properly. But make sure your, your meat or when we cook meat or fish, it should be cooked thoroughly. So it produces slightly uh, saucy and there's liquid from the spices that we added. Remember friends that cooking and baking, they're always make fun and easy here at my little kitchen. Thus, it gives you the ideas on what to prepare for your family's next meal. And I uh, simply love to share. This is for fun, sharing, and learning. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now, for this saute deliver with spices, you can either add some a little bit of water. That will be at your own discretion. okay now this is quite done i'll just be adding the rest of these four different types of veggies all together wonderfully give it a little stir and let it be done for two minutes dear wonderful friends if you don't have one of those veggies you can use chayote or sayote now we will just give a good stir to incorporate all the flavor and the veggies together you can either add a little bit of water or remain as it is like this
Okay, might as well add some little bit of water. So I want my veggies to be crispy, not to overly cook. Okay, so I would just let this be done for at least two minutes. And talking about time element, uh, it depends upon the type of flame you use. Could it be very high flame in temperature or just a medium flame over medium heat, high heat? Or if you will use low flame, that's very good and it cooks gradually but it takes a little bit uh, longer but not too much cover it re let it remain for two minutes or less depending upon how hardness you want to achieve in cooking your veggies okay there you go so for our final touches we we'll just give a good stir beautiful mm -hmm. so when you mix it mix it um, slowly gradually like with love and care <laughs> even if vegetables you know when I cook I don't want to rush it if possible well unless maybe and I'm really hungry and I'm so in a rush that I can be doing some shortcut uh, stirring or mixing okay this is our slurry just one tablespoon of cornstarch until no more lumps. Beautiful. Simply add this one into our uh, mixture. Okay, there you go. We're now achieving a very slight sauce look at that sauce okay beautiful beautiful okay there you go now uh, towards the end we are now ending our cooking lessons I should say <laughs> okay I will be adding or garnishing my green onions you can add cilantro if you want or coriander or even whatever herbs but not necessarily okay once again wonderful friends thank you very much for watching the Arnie's kitchen and food creations stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen okay i'll have to turn off my flame voila till the next time wonderful friends stay safe and uh, be well and um, may the good lord will always bless each of our family members away from any uh, sickness um, accident or anything bad um, or unprecedented um, things that will happen to us may he will always keep us safe from day to day so till the next time oh by the way you can also add some uh, carrots this is your home cook body laarni saying you Dagan kayong salamat ha, manihapo na ta, na anak ko'y andam kan on I have rice. Bye for now. I love you all. <laughs>